a dark, spooky graveyard in the middle of my brain. The bodies of dead neurons. Ziggy told Zack that he needed to cross the vicious volcano's erupting blood to go through the portal before it goes. Shoot me. As the salads shot out of the poison gun, Commander Zonda. The next day, he woke to thunder's playing of machine. He went outside to check what all the lumber was. They were making a stairway. As spent as they were, the teacher continued. We will be traveling to the brain of them. When? One of the students asked. In a pitch black planet, there was the last piece of chocolate in the solar system. It was located on Jupiter's biggest moon. Meanwhile, this is it, my big day. Jason is waiting out there, Amanda thought. But Jason was nowhere near the church. She ran as fast as she could, then bumped to Will, sleeping. <coughs> but Chris thought he was dead. Thursday 27. When is Jason coming? He should be here by now. I should go out to see. Amanda talked to herself. Mom, I'll go out to see when Jason will come. That brainers lost over 20 million soldiers after this attack, and out of the 11 million planes that flew that night, only 29 failed to return. Then the commander Zondal walked out of the shiny grand mansion and called out from the microphone. Dear left wing citizens and mysticians, I declare war on the other side of the brain. Here's the jump of faith room. They parkoured over lava, Crazy P explained, with a shivery leg. He parkoured as he looked back, the pillars cracked and dropped down into an endless It gave a big weird noise that sounded like poop gum singing. In the morning, the left side of the brain woke up and went to say hi to everyone. The sky was black with ash, the neurons flew their zeros and spitfires into battle. For a split second, there was icy silence. In the dark late night, in the hospital, something suddenly moved. Something slimy coming out of the head, making no noise. Not a one day, all days, when it's winter, summer, spring or autumn. In my brain, all this, my left brain and right brain are fighting each other. They became friends and lived happily together. The two people that they thought were murdered were actually alive. When they arrived in the campus, someone came after them. And he said, want some pizza? 